Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, in today's requested video, I want to share with you a bunch, <laughs> some popular niche fragrances that if you're looking to start a collection of niche fragrances or you want to start purchasing niche fragrances or adding niche fragrances to your collection, these are a safe way to start. Usually, I typically don't tell you guys where a safe blind buys, but you guys have been asking me, especially my new friends on Instagram. Well, from Instagram. So I wanna share with you some, what I feel are semi-safe niche fragrances. If you're used to buying designer fragrances and you wanna step your fragrance game up, then I feel like these fragrances are a great way to start. So if you wanna know about some great starter niche fragrances to add to your collection, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. I forgot to mention, guys, please make sure you're following me on Instagram. If you have Instagram, of course, we're at 30,000 on Instagram. I'm so super excited for that. And thank you guys who have contributed to that 30,000, that 30K on Instagram. I'm over there doing reels. I'm gonna be doing some carousels, some photos, a lot of great fragrance, lifestyle, and beauty content. So please make sure you're following me on Instagram if you have an Instagram account. Okay, now for real, for real, let's get started. Okay guys, so a lot of my new friends from Instagram that I've now invited over to my YouTube family to join us over here. A lot of you have been asking me about niche fragrances. You wanna start your fragrance journey in your niche fragrance journey and you ask my opinion. So I'm gonna help you out with some fragrances that I feel like are nice, exotic, different enough fragrances that you'll smell different, you'll stand out and the smells are amazing quality amazing but not too far out the gate you know what i mean so let's start with the first fragrance on the list and it's by the house of siage and this is haute bijou this is actually one of my favorite cupcakes from the brand now <laughs> y'all i wasn't gonna say this but holding this cupcake is i'm just compelled okay so let me just say something to you guys really quickly me speaking about the house of siage and telling you guys how much i love fragrances like haute bijou and passion de l'amour benevolence chevaux d'or cherry garden the ones that i have in my collection that i absolutely love let me tell you something i really really love those fragrances because i really really hate house of siage as a brand so when i'm bringing fragrances to you guys and i'm telling you oh haute bijou is everything passion de l'amour is a forever fragrance best believe please trust and believe this is no pr nothing this is no paid sponsorship nothing i don't work with that brand i've been wearing house of siage since before 2020 since before youtube i didn't just come on to house of siage because in 2020 house of siage completely blew up on youtube but i've been wearing house of siage before youtube before the pandemic okay my first fragrance from house of siage was passion de l'amour now the reason why i say i hate the brand is because when i got to i'm not sure if it was 500 or 1000 subscribers on my youtube channel it was a giveaway that i wanted to work with the house of siage on because i was always singing the praises for the fragrances nothing was ever sent to me by the house of siage so i reached out to the brand because i wanted to do a giveaway of the signature collection discovery set i was always talking about the house of siage and you guys were always asking me oh which should be my first cupcake i don't know which one to get yada yada so i reached out to them sent them my channel link they looked at my channel they were excited they wanted to work with me yada yada cut to weeks went by and i'm like wow i haven't heard from the house of siage like they agreed you know we have the receipts <laughs> you know what i mean and i haven't received anything i sent them my address i haven't received anything reached out to them was like hey you know just following up you know on our little giveaway you know whatever and they read it because this was on instagram through instagram dm they read it and they left me on scene <laughs> y'all when i tell you i was so livid and it's not even about the fact that they didn't send me the product, but just the fact that they read it, they left me on scene. So a little birdie told me that one of the creators at the House of Siage works with possibly threw some salt in the game and made the House of Siage not want to work with me ever because they've never reached out to me. So obviously I have no proof of that. And honestly, I really don't care because literally guys, I can buy my fragrances 
Um, I'm not starving. You know what I mean? Like it, it's okay. I, it's just, I see, I see what it is. I see the brand for what they are. And if that creator did that, I see them for what they are. And it is what it is. So when you hear me talking about the House of Siash and telling you guys that these fragrances like Passion de L'Amour, Haute Bijou, you know, yada, yada, are fragrances that I absolutely love. And if you're interested, these are ones that I think you should have as well. Just know that it's purely because I really love the fragrances. It has nothing to do with the brand because like I said, I hate, hate is a strong word, I despise the unprofessionalism of that brand. And then everything started to go on sale. Like when I was buying House of Siage in the beginning before YouTube, everything was regular price. It was regular price and it was like a very high esteemed posh brand to me. But then everything started to go on sale, 50% off, 75% off. It was like I was at a backyard garage sale. You know what I mean? But I fell into the trap and I also bought a few, like a couple of fragrances on that sale as well. After them leaving me on scene, I still gave them my money just because I'm just that much of a perfume addict. Like I just love the fragrances that much. So yeah, so like I said, if I'm bringing these fragrances to you, just know it's nothing. I don't deal with the brand. I don't work with the brand. I'm just bringing them to you because I actually really like the fragrances, really love the fragrances. So Haute Bijou is a beautiful, feminine, tropical fragrance. And you guys that always ask me, which should be your first cupcake? Although I tell you that Passion de L'Amour is my ride or die and I absolutely love that fragrance, I would never suggest that fragrance to you as a blind buy, ever, because that fragrance can go either way, like real right or real wrong. So it's very different. This one, I can't see someone not liking it. I just can't see someone not liking this fragrance. It's so beautiful. As you can see, guys, you see this dent? Like I'm literally about to need another bottle. Look at that. Wow, look at this. That is insane. Literally about to need another bottle of Haute Bijou because it's that good. Like I said, it's a feminine, tropical scent. It's very sweet. It's very fruity. Um, Nothing too groundbreaking, but it just smells really, really good. It smells sexy and sweet. Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with grapefruit. There's mango. There's iris. There's heliotrope amber. And to me, there's iris in this fragrance, but I don't get any, like the floral nuance is not that heavy and it's really not that powdery. Like I don't get any powderiness at all. It's just a really sweet, beautiful, fruity fragrance. And I feel like for your niche collection, you can't go wrong with this one. It's pretty safe. I think that everyone would absolutely love this. And the bottle is absolutely beautiful as well. My ring light is gonna drown it out, but the bottle is really pretty. I just love it. Haute Bijou by the House of Siage. Whew, so I'm glad I got that off my chest. I've been holding that in you guys for months, like months and months and months. Every time I talk about Passion de L'Amour, it just burns my soul. Every time I talk about Haute Bijou, it was burning my soul. It's 2022 and I just had to get that off my chest, okay? So I just wanted to let you guys know that, get that story off my chest, but you know, and just let you guys know, like if I'm talking about a fragrance, it's because I really love it, whether the brand send it to me or not, you know what I mean? So the next fragrance on the list is Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. And this was sent to me by the brand, actually by the fragrance group. This is a fragrance that like, seriously guys, start your niche collection, you need this in your collection. This is like a material girl's vibe, okay? Like, <laughs> this is everything. It's very comforting, it's very sweet, it's very sexy, it's so versatile. This can be worn on a sexy AF date night, okay? This can be worn out with your girls, this can be worn on the town, this can be worn to work, this can be worn at home, this can be worn to bed. It's just a very beautiful sweet i just love this like it just smells so good now i will say the scent profile is not uncommon because it does smell very similar to roses vinny by mansara or is it montal roses vinny i'm not sure if it's mansara or montal because i don't have that fragrance um it smells similar to intense cafe by montal and um it's like kind of in the same family a little bit as gentle fluidity gold they kind of have a little bit of the same type of thing going on but they're all still very different but in my opinion and i'm not saying that just because i have this bottle because i mean if i wanted intense cafe i could have intense cafe or roses Benny or any of them but i feel like in my opinion this one is better 
I've had samples of um, Intense Cafe, Roses Benin, you know, yada, yada. And like I said, to me, this one just smells better to me. Like the coffee note is not that strong. This is like roses with honey and vanilla and coffee, but not too sharp. It's just so absolutely gorgeous. It's a very, very beautiful scent. And I feel like for your niche collection, starting now, Material Girl Vibes. This one right here, Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. Now, I can't have a niche starter kit list without having one of the Delinas. Now, the reason why I put Delina La Rose, La Rose on here is because I absolutely love Delina, okay? Love, that's my heart. Repurchase, repurchase, repurchase. Obsessed, I love that fragrance. However, when I first received that fragrance, I was on a fence about it. I let it sit for about mm, possibly two months, two months, a month and a half. She was sitting, like she was sitting pretty <laughs> because I loved how it smelled, but honestly it was, I didn't understand her at the time. I don't know, it was something about Delina that I loved, but at the same time I didn't wear her. I don't know if I was scared, I was intimidated. It was very different for me. So that's the reason why I don't have Delina on the list. And the reason why I don't have Delina Exclusive on the list is because I have her for another video. So we're gonna talk about La Rose and I wanted to show La Rose some love. This one right here, I feel like is more safe to me. I feel like it's more safe because it does smell like Delina, okay? When you smell it, it smells like Delina, but it doesn't have that off-puttingness that I feel like, wait, hold up, what is going on? My rope is getting caught in the in the cap. So it doesn't have that sharpness, that um, sour sharpness that Delina has. I think that was putting me off when I first purchased Delina. A lot of you guys tell me as well, you love Delina Exclusive, but Delina just doesn't work for you. So I feel like you can't lose with Delina La Rose. Now this is a more watery, fresh, transparent rose. If you like rose, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. You smell peonies, you smell rose. It's so pretty. And let me tell you, the sillage, the scent trail that this leaves, y'all, I smelled this on a woman in the mall and had to like run up to her, tap her like, um, excuse me, what are you wearing? Because I'ma need that. And when she told me it was this, I had to get this. So this was sent to me by the fragrance group. If you're interested in this fragrance, you can purchase it from soavantgarde.com and save 20% with my discount code, the great 20. You can actually purchase Delina. You can purchase Delox, whatever fragrance that they have on So Avantgarde, you can purchase with my discount code, the great 20. Um, guys, this is everything. I feel like this is a safe way to start, you know, dipping your toes into the Delina pool because it's so pretty and this is great for the spring and summer or if you're in a hot climate this is also a great fragrance let me tell you some of the notes it opens up with lychee there's pear bergamot peony turkish rose there's watery notes there's floral notes white musk woody notes and haitian veteran it dries down to a beautiful woody musky type of rose scent guys it's everything and honestly like when this first came out, I thought this was going to be like disappear on my skin. But guys, this lasts at least seven to eight hours on my skin. It is very long lasting. And it's so surprising because I thought this was going to be more of a EDT, like an eau de toilette. But for whatever reason, it's able to latch onto your skin. And to be honest, I do layer with the Delina cream. I layer all the Delinas with my Delina cream and my Delina shower gel because, I mean, that's just what I do. So Delina La Rose, definitely a good option for your niche starter kit. Next up by Roja Dove, we have Reckless. Guys, if you're starting a niche collection, you need Roja Dove in your collection, okay? Now, I didn't want to start with the very expensive bottle, with the $500 bottle. I didn't want to bang y'all over the head like that just yet. So I feel like the essence would be great for you. Now, this is Reckless. I have a story about this too. <laughs> Guys, I'm just like unleashing everything to you guys today. Okay, so this was sent to me by the brand um, when they first launched and they were doing this whole big campaign and they reached out to so many creators, small and large creators to speak about this fragrance. And that was so amazing to me that they reached out to literally every creator to um, speak about this fragrance and we were all gifted this fragrance. Now, 
Rosia and them, <laughs> they sent me another package of fragrances and I never received it. Why? Y'all. So if you look at my description box, um, I have a very good friend that lives very close to Jersey City. I live nowhere near Jersey City. I didn't want my P.O. box to be in the town that I live in, anywhere near the vicinity, because I just don't want anybody, you know, whatever. I, I live and act like I'm in the witness protection program. Why? I have no idea. But that's just how I am. So I have a very good friend that lives close to Jersey City who has a P.O. box, and I use her P.O. box. All my packages go to her. When she goes to Jersey City, she picks up my packages, yada, yada. So Roja and them sent me a package to Jersey City to the post office through UPS. That was the, car the carrier. UPS doesn't deliver to P.O. boxes, apparently. I didn't know that. So what do they do? They look in the address from the person's name that my package was in, and they sent my package to an address that she lived at in Jersey City over 10 years ago. Instead of sending it back to the sender, <laughs> like, I mean, that's what I would have done. Instead of sending it back to the sender, they sent it to an address that she lived at over 10 years ago. So that package was left there, somewhere in the hood where she lived over 10 years ago. So there's people in the hood smelling like Roja Dove. <laughs> like y'all whenever I look at this bottle it just reminds me of just that whole ordeal and I'm just like wow like really UPS really instead of sending it back to the sender you find an address that she lived at over 10 years ago so that's what happened to my other fragrances from Roja Dove and ever since then they've never sent me anything ever again it is what it is okay but <laughs> This one right here is a beautiful fragrance. If you've ever smelled Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, that fragrance is similar to this, but this is more floral and more spicy. So think of Love Don't Be Shy, but a more floral, spicy, powdery version, and you have this. This has a whole lot of notes, guys, so I'm just gonna tell you some of them. It opens up with bergamot, there's mandarin orange, there's may rose, there's neroli, there's jasmine, there's coriander, there's pink pepper, there's cinnamon, there's sandalwood, there's benzoin. There's a lot of notes in here, okay? This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's sophisticated. The bottle is beautiful. As you can see, it's a beautiful, gorgeous bottle. Um, I feel like you need this in your collection. It smells amazing. It's a Roja Dove fragrance. I feel like you can't go wrong with this one. It's not giving material girl vibes. It's giving like a sophisticated, classy version <laughs> of a material girl. Like she used to be a material girl and now she's like a businesswoman, but she's a sexy in the know type of businesswoman. That's this vibe right here, guys. Reckless by Roja Dove. So I have about five, top five vanilla fragrances, and this is one of them. And this is Spiritueuse Double Vini by Guerlain. And as you can see, this is the original packaging that I actually love more than the new packaging that came out. But I mean, once this is done, like this is a for life fragrance, okay? Period, point blank. Once this is done, I'm going to have to get the new packaging and I'm sure I'll love it eventually. But this one right here, guys, I love this. <sighs> oh, now let me tell you about this vanilla right here. This is a sweet brown sugar, vanilla extract, rum, boozy, spicy vanilla fragrance. All of that, all that all that this is everything this is so super sexy this is so super classy this is just fire like it's just fire period i absolutely love this fragrance everybody needs this fragrance in their collection if you love a vanilla scent this one right here this one right here like i said top five guys everything this has pink pepper there's bergamot, there's frankincense, there's Bulgarian rolls, jasmine, ylang ylang, vanilla, benzoin, and rum. Guys, this is everything. I absolutely love this fragrance. Like, I love this fragrance so much that I hardly wear it. 
And that's because I just want to hold on to it. Like, do you have those fragrances in your collection that you just like, you love it so much that you wear it sparingly because you just love it? And I'm an over sprayer. Like I spray everywhere. I, sp I spray everywhere, okay? And I know I can go ham and be through with this bottle in a week because I just love it that much. So I have to be very mindful and mind my sprays with this. Um, it's not a B small fragrance. The way that I spray, <laughs> you will definitely smell it. It's not a B small fragrance. It's beautiful. Like I just feel like it's so gorgeous. Everybody needs this in their collection. And I don't think you can go wrong. And if you love vanilla, this one is the one that you need in your collection, guys. I'm telling you, it's so sweet. It's so beautiful. Like I said, if you love a sweet fragrance, sweet vanilla fragrance, but it has more depth to it because it has that boozy aspect from the rum. Whew. Spirit Suisse Double Vanille by Guerlain. Next up on the list is my tiny little bottle of Balder Freak by Byredo. And I'm going to need a new bottle soon. Look at this. Look at this little dent. Okay, dent. I just love seeing my dents, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. It just is so satisfying. As you can see, I love this fragrance. I wear this all the time. I may not talk about it all the time. I don't even speak about the Byredo collection that much on my channel. And I have no clue why because I absolutely love them. I wear them all the time. And they're like for life fragrances in my collection. So this one right here is very musky. It's sweet. It's woody. It's slightly earthy. It has a lot going on with it. And this is Ben Gordon, the creator of Byredo. Is his name Ben Gordon? I'm not sure. <laughs> but the creator of Byredo, this is his love letter to Africa. Balls of Freak. And I absolutely love this fragrance. So it has lemon, there's black currant, there's bergamot, there's African orange, there's um, violet, jasmine, vetiver, amber, musk, and cedar. So if you are not familiar with Byredo, Byredo fragrances, they're not beast mode. Like, well, the ones that I have in my collection, they're not beast mode. They're not giving you like super long longevity, even though for me, six, six, seven hours with this fragrance is everything. But let me tell you what I do. So I have the shower gel. As you can see, I, I love my shower gel as well. And I have the body cream, which it has, a, it's like half gone. <laughs> so you just layer, like you layer, like you start off in the shower with the body, the shower gel, and then you use your body cream. And this body cream is very, 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 very fragrant. Like I love the Byredo body creams, guys. They're so super fragrant. And then you top it off with the fragrance and you're gonna be smelling yourself all day. Like seriously, that's just what it is. I layer, and I'm not saying you have to buy these if you want this fragrance to, to smell and last. It's not like that. I mean, I'm sure it'll work um, if you don't layer. But for me, I just love the whole, I just love the whole layering process. I love my fragrance experience to start in the shower. Like if I can have a shower gel that smells like the fragrance I'm about to put on, I want that experience in the shower because I take very, very long showers. <laughs> I take long hot showers. I'll have my speaker in the bathroom. I'll be listening to music or a YouTube video or whatever. And I'm just in the shower getting my whole life, minding my business, showering and being in there forever. And I love to have a really beautiful fragrance scent on my loofah. If, if not that, then I'll use my Dove um, antibacterial wash because that's like you know my everyday like whatever but if i know i'm wearing a specific fragrance and i have the body wash of that fragrance i'm layering because when you layer that fragrance is going to be on you forever you're going to smell that fragrance forever okay i'm telling you guys so balls of freak bye bye radio definitely a safe bet with your fragrances you know starting your niche collection um i'm still not saying blind buy all these fragrances but i feel like who's not gonna like this you know what i mean it's just a beautiful scent. Love, love, love this. Balder Freak by Barreto. I know some of y'all are tired of this little red bottle, but listen. <laughs> For a niche starter kit, you're starting your niche collection. Listen, this is, listen. It's necessary. <sighs> it's necessary, okay? It's necessary. I don't care. It is what it is. At this point, this fragrance is for the streets, okay? She is for the streets. <laughs> But I don't care because I'm going to stick beside her because she's everything. And it's 540 Rouge, Baccarat Rouge 540. But this is the extra. I was about to bring the original in here and I was like, you know what? I don't want them to click out the video <laughs> if they see the original. But I'm like, okay, this one actually, I feel like for a niche starter, like 
even though it costs more money, it has a beautiful almond note. It's sweet and you'll smell it the entire time on you, okay? So that's why I chose this one. <sighs> Guys, it's just, I mean, like, it's just a masterpiece. I'm sorry. Bitter almond, saffron, jasmine, cedar, ambergris, musk, and woody notes. It's everything. Like I said, she's for the streets. Um, <laughs> but if you can get past that, then this is definitely one that you need to have in your collection. It's just, it's everything. It's an easy reach. It's a signature scent. It's for date night. It's for date day. It's for running errands. Whenever you want to feel like a material girl, okay? This is the one that you need in your life. It's absolutely amazing. And it's a forever for life fragrance. Baccarat Rouge 540, the x -Trait. Next up by Killian, we have Love Extreme. Guys, I killed this this summer. Can you see that little peak right there? It's a little something. I mean, this summer, like, well, not this summer. We're in 2022. Summer hasn't, um, summer's not here yet. But in 2021, the summer of 2021, I was going Killian crazy, guys. Like, I wanted everything Killian between Woman in Gold and Love Don't Be Shy Extreme and um, Forbidden Games. I was just going Killian crazy. Like, I absolutely love Killian fragrances. And this one right here, this is Love Extreme. Like, honestly, guys, this is your first date fragrance. This is your put it on fragrance. This is your I'm letting everybody know who I am and what I came here to do. And I definitely understood the assignment. That's this one right here. You want to make a statement. You want compliments. Like, seriously, I love my Baccarat Rouge 540s. But let me tell you something. And I get complimented on that fragrance. But nothing is more complimented than the Love Extreme by Killian or Love Don't Be Shy. But I put the Love Extreme because this one is a little fresher. It's a little bit more citrusy to me. Guys, it smells so good. Like honestly, ugh, oh my goodness. Neroli, bergamot, Bulgarian rose, orange blossom, marshmallow, vanilla, musk, and pomegranate. <sighs> Guys, for your niche collection, you cannot, you cannot not have this in your collection, okay? You, you gotta get this like seriously you have to get it it's it is pricey it's very pricey but i feel like it's worth it it's worth it it's a beautiful beautiful scent it's not overly saturated as yet it's getting there she on the way she's not necessarily for the streets just yet guys this is everything like i said first date second date uh anniversary date night date day dinner dinner at home dinner in a fancy restaurant vacation like anything anything anywhere you want is just slay okay that's this one right here love don't be shy extreme by killian another sweet sexy intoxicating fragrance that i feel like you would need for your niche collection is bdk's rouge smoking guys this is another one <laughs> another beautiful sweet it's so intoxicating it's so intriguing it's a beautiful scent it's kind of reminiscent of hypnotic poison but just sweeter like a very sweet hypnotic poison um it smells like a root beer float to me you can also purchase this fragrance off soavantgarde.com using my discount code the great 20 and save 20 percent off this fragrance guys i beat it up like seriously another one that i have to make myself not wear because I just don't want to be out of it. Although I'm getting a backup bottle. But still, like, I'm just like... <sighs> I'm going to let you guys know that it's not a beast. <laughs> if you're interested in a beast mode fragrance, this ain't it, okay? I don't think... There's only one or two BDK fragrances in my collection that I can say are beast mode. But this one right here is not a beast, okay? But it's a beautiful scent. People will smell you. You'll live in your scent bubble. On me, it lasts. I've heard that it doesn't last too long on some people. But um, on me, I'm getting like six to seven hours on my skin. I just love it. And I feel like you can't go wrong with this. It's sweet. If you love a sweet fragrance, let me tell you some of the notes. It opens up with cherry. There's pink pepper. There's bergamot. There's vanilla, heliotrope, orange blossom. There's tonka bean, cashmere wood, white musk, labdomum, vanilla, and ambroxan. Mmm guys it smells so good i need to stop smelling these fragrances it smells amazing like i said it, it reminds me of hypnotic poison by dior but just a very sweet version of hypnotic poison this is a feminine scent um i know that some men have this fragrance and wear this fragrance but in my opinion it's feminine date night date day another versatile could be a signature scent this can be worn all year round definitely for the fall and winter because it's so sweet i want to wear it in the hot sun like on a hot 
sunny day, I want to wear this. But if the sun is down and you're in a temperature controlled area, by all means, slay with this in the summertime, okay? And it'll probably even project more <laughs> because your body warms up. So definitely, guys, you can't go wrong with Rouge Smoking by BDK. So we have another Killian, the good girl. She's going bad, okay? Now, if you guys are on this channel, you know I do not like green, like green. Like I'm not really a fan of green in my fragrances. This is a floral green, slightly earthy type of fragrance. Tuberose, white floral fragrance, and it smells amazing. Now, I've smelled the extreme because a lot of you guys have told me to try the extreme. The extreme is not for me. I'm not a fan of the milkiness in the extreme. I know that's why a lot of people like it, but that's why I actually don't like it. So it opens up with Osmanthus. There's Jasmine, there's May Rose, Indian Tuberose, Narcissus, Amber, and Cedar. A beautiful fragrance, guys. Like I said, white floral, tuberose. You smell the tuberose, but this is a different take on a tuberose. It still smells youthful and sexy and classy at the same time. Definitely, you need this one. For the summertime, it's amazing for the spring, summer. I can see you wearing this still in the wintertime because I've worn this on a cold day and, and had no qualms about it because I don't care. Sometimes I just wanna smell certain fragrances and I'll just wear them because, you know, wear them out of season, like out of season for me because I do like to keep my fragrances specific for, you know, each season. But sometimes I just crave smelling certain fragrances. So I have worn this um, on a date <laughs> in the winter time and it was fine because I'm inside where it's warm. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance, guys. Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. Next up on the list is Creed Aventus for her. Now this is the most, I wanna say this is the most commercial niche, well, one of the most commercial niche fragrances on this list. This is like, this is a staple. Like any girl that you know, any material girl, I'm telling you, all the material girls have Creed Aventus for her in their collection, okay? This is definitely a material girl staple, no doubt about that. I can see her shopping in the mall, wearing this fragrance, going to Philippe's in this fragrance, going to Mr. Chow's, going to Tao, going to Budokan, smelling like Creed Aventus for her. Now, this reminds me of vacation, but not like tropical island vacation this reminds me of going to greece and just sailing on the water sailing on a boat on on a yacht <laughs> this is that fragrance guys it smells so rich like i'm telling you this is rich vibes all the way okay honey you need the creed of Ventus for her in your life it opens up with patchouli there's green apple bergamot there's lemon pink pepper there's violet sandalwood rose musk let me tell you something this is a citrusy, green, woody, musky type of fragrance. But guys, it's so long lasting. This is a beast, okay? This is a beast. This is super long lasting. This is everything. And you can also purchase this fragrance off of soavantgarde.com using my discount code, the great 20 if they have it in stock. Because I did check and this was not in stock. They have the Aventus for him. So if you wanted to buy the original Aventus for men, which is like a staple, I feel like that should be a staple in every man's collection. Every gentleman should have Creed Aventus in their collection. That's just like a staple. It is what it is. Um, so if you wanted to buy that for him, you could. So this fragrance is not available online right now. It should be soon, but those fragrances sell out really quickly, guys. Like you guys love that discount code and you're constantly using it. Even when I'm not talking about it, you guys are DMing me and hitting me like, oh, I just got such and such with your code and you know, whatever. So that's why the fragrances are always sold out. But if you can get your hands on this, definitely get your hands on Creed Aventus. As you can see, another one that I absolutely love and I have to, oh, I can't see it that way. But I have to stop myself from wearing it because I don't want it to be done. Like this is everything. And this wasn't sent to me, like this was bought, <laughs> okay? They actually purchased this fragrance for me. You know when I got this fragrance? Wow, this fragrance has a memory tied to it. Um, so when the mall first opened, after we came out of quarantine, Bay and I went to the mall and he bought me Creed Aventus for her. So I just got this fragrance, not just, but I got this fragrance in 2020. In, uh, was it August? When we went to the mall, the malls opened either late July or early August. And it was like, guys, you don't even understand. Go into the mall and it was like, it was so many people, but they had it under control because, you know, we they, they couldn't have like a bunch of people inside, but the lines were insane. But we were the first ones at the mall. Like I was not playing. We weren't, we didn't have to wait on any line, but the lines were insane to get into the mall because of 
the whole like social distancing and you know not having that many people inside so that is what i think about when with this fragrance this was like the coming out of quarantine fragrance right here guys and i absolutely love it creed avensis for her another must have okay must have greenwich village by bond number nine listen <sighs> guys this is a sweet, fruity, more like gourmand, mouth-watering version of Baccarat Rouge by 40. So it does have a similar nuance to Baccarat Rouge. But guys, this has pralines. I'm just like, I'm just, I just, I just need to not think about it because my mouth will start watering. This has pralines. This has like fruits in the opening. It opens up with lychee. There's cassis. There's mandarin orange. There's peonies. There's water lily, jasmine, and broxen praline musk vanilla and oak moss guys this one right here is everything you guys are always telling me about that dang tribeca okay and i smell tribeca and it is beautiful but honestly it's the coffee in tribeca that i'm just i'm not vibing with the coffee note but it does smell good but just not for me it smells like a coffee version of baccarat rouge by 40. this to me is more gourmand because of that sweet sweet praline it has that sweet lychee like lychee is so sweet give me a lychee martini any day okay lychee is so sweet this is a super sweet gourmand more decadent version of baccarat rouge by 40 and i am obsessed okay obsessed you need this another one that i feel like is a safe this is a safe blind buy. I don't see who is not gonna like this fragrance. This is everything. I love having this fragrance in my collection from Bond Number Nine, and I feel like starting your niche journey, you need something like this. This is everything, guys. Greenwich Village by Bond Number Nine. Another Tiziana Terenzi fragrance that I feel like is safe for you guys to have is Cassiopeia. Now, for my subscribers that do not like Tiziana Terenzi fragrances because of that musky dry down that most of them, the majority of the fragrances have, I don't mind it. I actually love that. Um, but this one doesn't have it. I'm telling you guys, when I smell this fragrance, it doesn't even smell like a Tiziana Terenzi fragrance to me. This smells like candy, okay? This smells like straight up candy. This is such a beautiful, sweet, fruity fragrance. Guys, it opens up with passion fruit. There's cassis, there's lemon, there's fern, there's carnation, there's tea rose, lily of the valley, there's tonka bean, musk, and sandalwood. Another material girl fragrance, okay? Listen, this is definitely a material girl fragrance. Guys, Cassiopeia is everything from Tiziana Terenzi. You can also save 20% from soavantgarde.com using my discount code thegreat 20 on this fragrance like i said it's sweet fruity it doesn't have that musky dry down that musky dna that we all know some of us know and love it some of us don't love it from tiziana terenzi because i already know y'all are out there y'all are out there everybody does not love tiziana terenzi fragrances like how i do but i'm telling you guys if that dna didn't resonate with you and your skin Cassiopeia is a very bright and uplifting, happy fragrance. I'm telling you, it's fruity. If you love a fruity fragrance, you'll love this. And listen, I know Kirk is a fruity fragrance, but this is nothing. This is the opposite, like complete opposite of Kirk. Like I have Kirk and I love it. And it's a very strong, powerful. It's also like cloyingly sweet. And I don't mind that. I love that. But this one is more citrusy fruity like it has that lemon in it and it just balances everything out and it doesn't have that it does have musk in it but it just doesn't have that strong tiziana terenzi dna that a lot of you guys don't vibe with i'm telling you cassiopeia is a safe way to go not only is it safe it's exotic it's different it smells amazing this is also like a date day date night this is a brunch this is a spring summer or whenever you want to wear it type of fragrance this can be a signature scent i'm actually gonna spray this one this is everything mm, y'all don't even y'all stop playing with me stop playing with me this right here is everything it's the candy listen this smells like straight up candy it smells like, you know what this smells like? It smells like a sour green Jolly Rancher candy. 
That's what this smells like. This smells like a freaking Jolly Rancher. Damn it, this smells so good. What? Y'all stop playing with me. Another one of my top five vanilla fragrances is right here, Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK. Look at that dent. I just love showing you my dents. I be stunting on my dents, right? Like, that's right. You see me wearing my fragrances. I do not keep them as a shrine, although I love them to look like a shrine. I actually wear them, okay? So look at that dent right there. Love this fragrance. Spicy, nutmeg, vanilla. <sighs> this is everything. <laughs> It opens up with juniper berry, there's nutmeg, coriander, musk, ambery woods, and vanilla. Another material girl fragrance, okay? She is shopping. She has no budget, no limits. She's sexy. She's pretty. She's beautiful. She's classy. That's what I get from Gentle Fluidity Gold. And you can't go wrong. Like, honestly, let me tell you something. This is the OG, like this gets all the praise and this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. But let me tell you something, Gentle Fluidity Gold and Grand Soir, sometimes I feel like they're damn near better. But for some reason, it's something, something in the 540 that it just draws you to it. Like it's something in there that's just like some type of weird aphrodisiac that none of us know about that is just like captivating our noses and making us feel like it's the best fragrance on earth like i don't know what it is because this is a beautiful scent this is beautiful um uh what is it grand soir is beautiful i don't know what it is but i mean it you need both of them okay you need both of them <laughs> definitely a beautiful vanilla scent guys if you love vanilla if you love a little spiciness with your vanilla if you want to be intriguing and sexy and captivating all at the same time, this can be a signature scent. You can wear this to work. You wear this to work, you're smelling better than everybody in the office, okay? Everybody in the office is going to be like, what is she wearing? What is that? And you don't tell them what you're wearing, okay? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK. Okay, guys, we've come to the end of this very, very long video. Leave me some comments below and let me know what fragrances would you have put on the list for a niche starter kit. So let's talk about it in the comments below. Remember, guys, to stay safe because Omarion is out here going crazy. Okay, stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.